We're in the petrified forest. It's been a good day. So I'm on the historic Blue Forest Trail, Petrified Forest National Park. No signs for this thing. It was made back in the 30s. Trail's still here. Don't think it's maintained, but you can still find it. You know what you're looking for. Views are awesome. So I'm not sure of the exact mileage. You start at the Blue Mesa Trailhead, it branches off. I'm sure where that branches off, it's hard to see. You gotta know what you're looking for. Um, I'll put a GPS coordinate in the description. Just go up the wash at that GPS point and just look for footprints. Follow this wash up. If you look up at the hills right in front of you, if you really pay attention and know what you're looking for, you'll see a faint trail. Follow that up to the top. And I think it's about three miles. Forget how many feet of elevation gain. And you start at Blue Mesa and you end up at the highway. Out there. We were such a constellation right? No you to great. Came here last year with Tina and we couldn't do the trail. We got on a couple of the ridge lines, wind was blowing so much that it was dangerous. So turned around, went back. Hardly any wind today. Glad I came back. Sure of heights, there are some knife edges you're walking on. A couple hundred feet, I would guess, down. So uh, yeah, this makes you nervous. Not the trail for you, windy, wouldn't recommend it, uh, wet. I've seen plenty of footprints where somebody was sliding around, wouldn't recommend it when it rained, but uh, good conditions like today. It's a really cool spot. Oh, also some of the downs, loose gravel, your feet wanna slide. I would just go really, really, really slow, but all things to consider. If you're scared of heights, not real sure on your feet. If you start getting nervous, turn around. Better safe than sorry. I'm sitting down because I just slipped. You know, I said it was slick. Slick. Yeah, some of the downs are no joke.
Ah, level ground. Much better. Only fell twice. <laughs> Rustic. say to bring pellets for the stove it looks like everybody followed that advice there's plenty of pellets <laughs> made it to the ranger cabin this place has got gas stove refrigerator pellet stove running water shower toilet sink well, it's not you know a five-star hotel but i like this rustic stuff views great no neighbors it's going to be pretty cool. That looks like Tina. You found it. This is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come check it out. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Wow, that is a washing machine. <laughs> Bathroom, shower. That's a pretty cool shower. Yeah, it works. Actually, does it? Well, I haven't showered yet. <laughs> it looks like it works. What kinds of pellets? Uh, yeah, the pellet, uh, <laughs> the pellet it. supply is not a problem. <laughs> Ready to go hike? <laughs> <laughs> okay then. That's so much lighter than this. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading out into the desolation. Where are we going? We are going to the Devil's Playground. We can walk there from our cabin. Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Looking for in life, call us.
was crazy, but things are finally right. Okay, I've seen enough. Yeah, it looks like it kind of might slot up a little bit back there. Time to go back to the cabin. Beers, drone. Yeah, relax. Gonna do that. That was Devil's Playground. About a three mile hike, flat. Kind of want it marked on GPS before you go out here. Not a real defined trail. Just kind of go out and explore. Permits are required. Permits go, well, I don't know if they always go up on Wednesday, but right now they go up on Wednesdays. Three permits for the entire week. So first come, first serve, plan ahead. Might want to call and check the availability. But really cool spot. Now we're going back to the cabin and relax. I feel like it's I'm even on it. aimed too much at our bodies. Like it should be tilted up towards our faces just a little more. Oh, nope. Yeah, I should probably stop recording. Hey, you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in Petrified National Forest. No, Petrified Forest National Park. National Monument? I don't know what it is. Sure. I gotta get that right. <laughs> <laughs> it just says Petrified Forest. We're in the Petrified Forest. So we're in the Petrified Forest and we're staying at the ranger cabin just outside the park actually. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of the ranger cabin? I really like it. It's yeah. really cool. It's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere in the desert, but it's beautiful all around. Lots of privacy. It's like a tin shed, but it's got a bed in it, a table, a stove, um, a shower, flushing toilet, a small refrigerator. Clothes washer, did you say that? <laughs> Swamp cooler. It's this rugged off-grid type of a cabin. You've got to conserve water, you have to conserve power, but it still has all those things which are really nice to have. They are nice to have. That shower water is brisk. <laughs> it is cold, but uh, still, I got to take a shower. That's a good thing. Got to hike Devil's Playground, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And earlier before you got here, I got to do the historic Blue Forest Trail which is really cool. And I think, I don't know, those are three places that a lot of people come to Petrified Forest and I don't, I've don't i never heard anybody talk about any of these three. This ranger cabin is a really cool way to experience the park. I mean, you're out here, you can hike from the cabin um, and explore out there into the park. You could drive around, you know, spend half a day and do the loop drive and stop and see you know, the little sites along the way and yeah, I've got do those another, little mini hikes. Got another video about when we came here before and did more of the, the common stuff that, that everybody sees when you first come to the park. Mm -hmm. So check that out. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're looking for a five-star hotel, it's not that. It, it's mm -hmm. rugged and we, we kind of like that, that yeah. rugged feel. And, we definitely um, do. Yeah, if you like what you see, then go check it out. And we're done. Yeah. Time for beers. So what does hiking with me <laughs> entail a lot of? Um, you bitching.
No. <laughs> I was going for the stop walking, keep walking. Keep walking. Walk a lot through. of direction happening. <sighs> you just always, every time I go to film, her walking, she stops. Yep. Every time. I have a radar. <sighs> You're not walking. Don't stop walking. Excellent job not stopping walking. Okay, you can stop now. You stopped walking. Well, you didn't tell me. She stopped walking again. You stop walking and then I have to start so there's some type of movement. That looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the penis shaped rock forms, what do you think of <laughs> Devil's Playground? Here, walk walk by here. Nope. Do it. Excellent. I'm a filmmaker. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> More? No. <laughs> More? But look at the white hoodies up there. But I'm filming. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a split screen. You know what the fuck? I'm a hubba hubba it's on. Yeah.